Monday Night Raw. Welcome to Balor Club. incredible athletes to ever step foot in Monday Night Raw. Finn Balor, first ever Universal Champion. A bona fide superstar the world over. Finn Balor seems to get better, faster, stronger and more dangerous every single week in WWE. Guys, if you are looking for a billboard example of a superstar who has it, who has the it factor, look no further than Finn Balor. You can feel the electricity running through this arena. This is going to be some battle, one on one, mano a mano. Man, this card is just packed with so many great matches. And this one is definitely Whoa. among the most anticipated, I'd say. Finn Balor is in action, and I can see a lot of Balor Club members here tonight. Byron, could you do me a favor and point them out? I just want to know who to avoid after the show tonight. Nailed it. He wants no part of the outside. Oh, nasty impact. Oh, my lord. Strike right. Good night. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. In play. Oh, what impact! What do you think Finn Balor needs to focus on right now? He doesn't want to absorb much more punishment if he wants to win this match. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. What a strike! This is what makes him oh, one man. of the best in the business. Tear the features clean off your face. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Finn Balor. Well, Finn Balor is Irish, and they're known for their gift of gab. Braun Strowman doing a great job of turning that around. 
When this guy's on, look out. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar rules his salt ever does. Boom! Cover, cover! Braun Strowman kicks out easily. Yeah, good luck keeping those massive shoulders on the mat. This might be it! Oh, my! Keep your eye on this one. Finn Balor perched on top. Here it comes. Coup de grace. He's in complete control. Will this be enough? I can't believe it. He just kicked out. So resourceful. He's in trouble. Here he goes. 16. He might just win this thing right here. Finn Balor can Kenny do it here. One, two, Digging deep for a kick out. Yeah, good luck keeping those massive shoulders on the mat. He's always had the ability to take it up a notch. Ooh, what impact. Oh, oh, it's over. What a move. He's making a statement here with this attack. Oh, and he connects. There's no reason to lose your footing on a move like that. Come on, toughen up. Strowman. This is not going to be good at all. Oh, my gosh, from what heights. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Shoulders on the mat. How does he keep doing this? Even now, Finn Balor refuses to give an inch, fighting through and battling on. And here's the monster along man, Corey. Look at the pole. Hellacious power slam. Game, set, match. This one is over. <laughs> Military pass, what you call a bad landing. And set him a sharp knee. What's coming next? Taking their time. Boom. <laughs> oh, right to the face. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. The monster among men picks his opponent up. Oh, Braun Strowman slamming into the mat. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Yeah, you don't... He's going for the pin. Braun Strowman wins. Braun Strowman wins. Let's take another look at these guys in action. Man, this was great. Almost forgot about this one. Check this out. He really put on a great show. Here is your winner, Ron Strowman. Big win here to start the show. Yeah, the performance... Be ready for anything. We have triple threat action coming right up. I can't wait.
Byron, I'm not going to ask you this question because you're not cool enough, but I'll ask Graves. Graves, are you ready to walk with Elias? Negative, Ghost Rider. Making his way to the ring from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 222 pounds, Elias. It's nice to see Elias isn't wearing his grandmother's kimono tonight. You know what WWE stands for, right? Oh, go ahead. And we run. want earplugs. Walk with Elias. Listen, you guys know Elias' lullabies are the number one cause of insomnia in the entire world. All right, I'll just answer my own question. Yeah, I knew that, because they are. And his opponents, first, from Punjab, India, weighing in at 238 pounds, Jinder Mahal! Pretty incredible what this man has accomplished in his career. Jinder Mahal has worked for everything that he has, but now everything that he has is the best in the world. First class all the way. Airplanes, limousines. That newly found lifestyle, Corey, a direct result of the changes Jinder Mahal underwent from changing his body to reshaping his mind, his confidence, his outlook on life. Try this out with me, Byron. Take a deep breath. Shanti. Uh, Shanti. 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 I don't feel anything, Corey. This man is a real force. Drew McIntyre. Revamped attitude, revamped appearance. And from Air Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, Drew McIntyre. McIntyre's made it his mission to eliminate all the complacency in WWE. You know, Drew McIntyre arrived and he was the chosen one. Handpicked by WWE Chairman Mr. McMahon. And Drew will admit that he became complacent. Felt like he didn't have to work hard to get to the top. When he got fired, he went away. He got a new attitude. And now he's back bigger and badder than ever with a vengeance. Yeah, this new attitude from Drew McIntyre dictates he will take. The contest will be fought under traditional WWE triple threat rules. Well, that was yeah. an oxymoron. There's nothing traditional about a triple threat match. Guys, I'm interested to see if any alliances get formed here tonight, or if it truly will be one-on-one-on-one. -on -one -on -one. Drew McIntyre looking to squeeze wow. his opponents like a set of bagpipes. Byron, that metaphor was uglier than a pile of haggis. Suplex! Oh, nasty impact. 
You gotta believe this one's over. This leg pick. Working on the leg. Drop kick. Great athleticism. He's starting to feel it here. He may have to start reevaluating his game plan. The dangers of this triple threat match appear to have escalated quickly on him. And this has all the makings of getting out of hand fast. He better be careful. This is all part of the process, guys. He knew he would take on some offense here tonight. He just has to make sure he He's got him early. Coming. Digging deep for a kick out. Not yet. Nice. Elias got out of there in the nick of time. Knocked him right off his feet. Yeah, no kidding. Whoa, Elias able to avoid damage. Hooked up. Oh, what impact. Oh, he's such a tough target. Oh, close line. Knee drop. Oh, boy, he is rolling. I'll never forget Elias' sad attempt to return after his defeat in a Loser Leaves NXT match against Cassius Ono. Just a few weeks later, we were introduced to the masked competitor, El Vagabundo. Ooh. Harsh impact. Byron, you mentioned El Vagabundo and Elias. I personally believe that they're different guys. Elias is American Beauty. He's got the shoulders down. It's going to take a lot more than that to keep him down. The Maharaja refusing to stay down. I think we're about to see a high-risk move from the top rope. Whoa. Nice. Shut it down. Oh my! And it's Elias floundering some. He can't rest on his laurels here. There are two other guys in there that want this match just as much as he does. He's got to be careful here. While he hasn't absorbed too much punishment yet, triple threat matches have a way of getting out of hand. Very beautiful technique. That's what he. We got a cover. It's all over. What an amazing triple threat contest. Those three superstars laid it all on the line, as we can see right here in these clips. He ain't messing around. Yeah, he's putting in the work. And last but not least... Here is your winner, Elias! And the first match of the night comes to an end in thrilling fashion. And you just know the rest of the card is watching in the back, wondering how in the world they're going to follow that. Believe it or not, that's just the beginning, folks. Stay tuned for more great action. Hold on to your seats. We have singles action coming up next. Going to settle the score.
making his way to the ring from Hollywood, Florida, weighing in at 218 pounds, Dolph Ziggler. Not about showing off anymore for Dolph Ziggler because he believes he's accomplished everything he needs to in WWE, and he's right. You know, Dolph Ziggler has twice been the sole survivor at Survivor Series. Well, sometimes you forget just how much Dolph Ziggler has really accomplished in WWE. But this is a superstar who has stood the test of time. Lock the doors. The Hide your kids. The Hide your wife. Friends is in the and house. His opponent from Cincinnati, Ohio, weighing in at 225 pounds, Dean Ambrose. Raw just turned into an asylum. Sure, this guy's fit to be tied, but his resume speaks for itself. A Grand Slam champion in WWE, one of the most successful competitors of this generation. And guys, my sources tell me he's got a smoking hot wife. That'd be Renee, Byron. Oh. And here we go. This is the type of battle that you can show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say, this is what WWE's all about. And this is one of those matches where it's hard to believe we get oh. paid for this. Well, actually, hard to believe Saxton gets paid for anything. Ziggler is here oh, to show the world just how good he is, and he's ready to steal the show. Yeah, well, it's that attitude that gives him the moniker of the show off. But you've got to respect the guy who isn't afraid to lay it all on the line and bet on himself. Oh. Leg sweep. Nicely done. Uh -oh. Nailed it. We've got to cover. No, they're not done yet. Not even close. Dolph can absorb a lot more punishment than that. Ziggler may be in trouble here. He's going to want to make sure this doesn't snowball out of control. This thing appears to be slipping away from him in a hurry, guys. And you can bet he envisioned things going much differently for him heading into this match. Dolph Ziggler often steals the show, but his biggest heist may have been when he became Mr. Money in the Bank. That victory undoubtedly started Ziggler down a road that not many have traveled, ultimately culminating with a successful cash-in the night after WrestleMania 29. You guys mentioned Ziggler successfully. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. And Ziggler gets out of the way quickly. Lightning speed from Dolph. Rude awakening! His shoulders are down. He's a long way from a three count, I can tell you that. Yeah, this is way too early to be going for the win. Damage to the body. Oh boy, he is rolling. Look at Dolph Ziggler with the famous sir. What's he gonna do now? Dolph Ziggler is rolling now. And the kick out. Uh uh. Here is Dolph Ziggler in position now. You have to like his chances here. I think that slam caught us all off guard. This one's not over yet. Gonna take more to get out of the Ambrose Asylum. Yeah, a lot more. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. 
There it comes. This might be it. Oh, my. Nope. Reverses it. Dean Ambrose finds himself in a tough spot. He'll need to find a way to turn things around here. You can learn a lot about a guy in a match like this. And what I've learned so far here tonight is that there is absolutely no... He might have it. Is he done? Oh, and he breaks free. But the damage might have already been done, Michael. Screw. That'll tear your knee up. Boom! <laughs> he goes for the cover. The pinfall and the victory. Now let's get another look at some of the high points of that one. Look at him go. He's getting it done here. Check him out here. And last but not least, there was this. Here is your winner, Dolph Ziggler. And that's a win to start off the night. And if that matches any indication of what to expect here tonight, we are in for an amazing evening. And that'll do it here for this one-on-one -on -one match. I hope you enjoyed it as much as this live crowd appears to have enjoyed it. Singles action is up next. You're not going to want to miss this. Against an imposing adversary. to ever capture the SmackDown and Raw Women's Championships, Alexa Bliss, the goddess of WWE. The irresistible force is on Raw. And her opponent, from San Diego, California, Nia Jax. Hey, whenever Nia Jax enters an arena, whenever Nia Jax enters a match, everyone takes notice of the dominance that this woman is capable of. She's beautiful, she's powerful, she's dangerous. It's like a million dollar smile on a wrecking ball. Nia Jax is the irresistible.
We've seen some heartbreaking betrayals in WWE over the years, but Alexa Bliss insulting Nia Jax may be one of the most heartbreaking things we've ever seen. Yeah, you got that right, Michael. Nia Jax had Alexa Bliss's back ever since Bliss joined the Raw roster. They even had a seemingly stable friendship. But when Alexa thought the cameras were off, the world learned what Little Miss Bliss truly thought of Nia Jax. I don't know who's looking more forward to this, the women in the ring or me. Just going back to Nia Jax and Alexa Bliss, as you losers know, I'm not above name-calling, but some of the stuff Alexa had to say about Nia really crossed the line. Yeah, Alexa's words really sparked a fire in Nia Jax, who earned sweet revenge on the grandest stage of them all when Nia finally became Raw Women's Champion. What a stomp! Good grief! Alexa Bliss looking stymied out. You're going to need to find a way to mount an offense here. Pump the brakes a bit, Cole. I know exactly what you're thinking, and I can tell you with all certainty, she still has plenty of gas left in the tank. Oh. But it's still early here, guys. It's going to take a whole heck of a lot more than this to keep her down. Nia Jax did not waste any time in becoming a dominant force in NXT. After cryptic vignettes declared that Nia wasn't like most girls, she proved it by laying waste to NXT's best en route to women's championship contendership. Oh, neck breaker. Going back to Nia Jax's NXT day, she really displayed her dominance on her rise to the top, dispatching performers like Liv Morgan and Carmella without much trouble. I haven't been there for Nia's early days. I can tell you, she was milliseconds away from beating the likes of Bailey and Asuka for the NXT Women's Championship. Nia had takeover battles well in hand with both women, but lost due to rookie miscues. And now that she's got more experience, she's earning main event matches and winning titles. Quick thinking by Nia Jax. Powerbomb! Oh man, she's rolling now. The shoulders are down. She's looking to get out of here with a win early. Nah, not yet. Too early. Oh, what impact! What does Alexa Bliss need to do now? She needs to find a way to get back on the offensive. Oh, and Jackson, a leg drop! Thunderous leg drop! She is just so dominant. And a pin attempt. The impact. Oh, nasty flipping senton. Irish whip. What a strike. Nia Jax seems to have lost a step now. She's in there with some stiff competition tonight. You know, she's the kind of competitor that actually likes getting hit. It motivates her. And this might just be what she needs to put her over the top, believe it or not. But don't discount the damage she was able to inflict on her opponent earlier in the match. You can bet... Oh, oh my lord! Bliss is out of it, guys. Things do not look good for Alexa Bliss. There's a pin now. The first ever Women's Royal Rumble match was full of amazing moments, but Nia Jax may have had the best performance of the 29 women who didn't win that match. I agree, Michael. While Asuka was obviously the true winner of the match, Nia Jax had plenty to be proud of, lasting 18 minutes and single-handedly eliminating four competitors. Fellas, let's go back to Nia Jax's Royal Rumble performance. When it comes to unassisted eliminations, she had the most in the Royal Rumble, tied with Michelle McCool. But here's it going. You gotta believe this one's over. Oh, 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 oh what a leg drop. Oh, there's my stomach hurt. 
This one's over, guys. Now, can Nia Jax make the most of this? Great women's action here in WWE. Alexa Bliss gets out of the way quickly. Beautiful technique. Hold on, guys. This isn't good. No question about it, Cole. Samoan drop. This one is over. Nia Jax makes a cover. What's he doing? Oh, nasty flipping centaur. Nasty flipping center. Good golly, what a knee. Knee drop. That was nasty. So precise. Oh, torturous knee. She is on fire. Knee drop. That was nasty. So precise. Knee drop. That was nasty. So precise. Knee drop. That was nasty. So precise. Knee drop! That was nasty. So precise. Vicious knee. Knee drop! That was nasty. So precise. Ooh, what impact. Oh, right to the back. Effectively using the knee. Oh, right to the back. When she gets in attack mode, look out. Attacking the back. Assault on the lower back. Knee drop. That was nasty. So precise. Knee drop. That was nasty. So precise. Oh, using the knee as a weapon. Good golly, what a knee. Escapes trouble there. She's got her where she wants her. Oh, Alexa Bliss may have it. Oof. Huge opportunity here for Alexa Bliss. Oh, man, Nia Jax doesn't even know where she is. Now that got those shoulders on the mat. Two, three. What a win for Alexa Bliss. Now let's take another look at these wonderful women in action. This was another great moment. That's a woman on a mission. Oh, I can't believe this. She proves she has what it takes to be one of the best in the business. Here is your winner, Alexa Bliss. Kicking off the night with an impressive victory. Yeah, the performance put forth in that match tells me we're looking at somebody who will someday, very soon, be competing in the main event. Plenty more action still to come here tonight, folks. Singles action is up next. You're not going to want to miss this. Against an imposing adversary. Going to settle the score.
Here comes the King Slayer. I think the look of confidence on the face of Seth Rollins says it all. He is ready. Rollins, one of the greatest of this generation. Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, the Intercontinental Champion, Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins has made a career out of taking risks and seizing opportunities. Seth Rollins has been a multi-time champion, a Money in the Bank ladder match winner. Debuted as part of the Shield with Reigns and Ambrose. The King Slayer set for action. Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds, Bobby Roode. Things just became absolutely glorious. Can I get a hallelujah? Hallelujah! Not from you, Byron. How many times do we have to go through this? I've been practicing all week. You haven't gotten any better. When a superstar locks up with Seth Rollins, they must be prepared to endure attacks from all angles. Rollins has perfected the fighting style that's been described as a frantic assault. These guys are undoubtedly going to give us a show here tonight. Harsh impact. What a stop. Good grief. Trust me, if you're a WWE superstar, this is not where you want to be. No way. Suplex. He's on the defensive here. But he's very aware of who he's in there with and what he has to do to rebound. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Cole. This is just oh. a little bump in the road for him here. Nothing to worry about. By the looks of things, Ooh. I don't think he expected his opponent to be as motivated as he clearly is here tonight. Oh, what incredible power. Wow, what a vertical suplex. What a punch. Come on. 
the knee. Good night. Got the arm. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Seth Rollins. Oh, what a super kick from the architect. Oh, it's over. But does Rollins have the wherewithal to capitalize? He no doubt about that one. Here's the cover. Two, three. Seth Rollins gets the win. Now let's take another look at these guys in action. And here's a last look at this one. Here is your winner, Seth Rollins! And the first match of the night comes to an end in thrilling fashion. If that's the type of action we're going to get all night long, I can't wait to see the rest of the card unfold. What a way to kick off tonight. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're just getting started. Singles action is up next. You're not going to want to miss this. The longest reigning Universal Champion in history! Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Paul Heyman from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds, Brock Lesnar! The Cerebral Assassin has arrived! The mood has changed! And his opponent Accompanied by Stephanie McMahon from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 250 pounds. It's all about the game pounds. and how the you game. play it, and Triple nobody plays it better H. than Triple H. Oh, the cerebral assassin, the sadistic son-in-law of the chairman of WWE. So many incredible moments created by this man and etched in history. If there is one thing we have learned about Triple H, he will do anything and everything to advance his career.
the 14-time world champion. The cerebral assassin. One of the all-time greats. Trailblazing, revolutionary. Watching Triple H, I think about his rivalry with Lesnar, breaking Triple H's arm twice, putting Mr. McMahon, his father-in-law, in the hospital. Nothing but bad blood in that rivalry. Forget the broken bones and injured father-in-law. At WrestleMania 29, Triple H risked his entire career as a competitor in a no-holds-barred match. One of the best rivalries in our sport. What kind of savage are you? Forget your injured father-in-law? Well... Myron, I have to close the loop between Lesnar and Triple H because at WrestleMania 29, Triple H had the last laugh, winning with a pedigree on the steel steps. I don't know about the last laugh part, Cole. Lesnar got a rematch at Extreme Rules, beating Triple H and getting his revenge in a steel cage match. There is a deep and abiding dislike between Lesnar and Triple H. He's looking at it. Now it's Lesnar taking some punishment. He looks incredibly motivated, though. Oof. Don't expect him to be down for long. I wouldn't call for the medics just... Great job breaking the hold there. Good thing, too. That could have been ugly, Michael. Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. Uh -oh. the oh, my goodness, crushing it! Oh, my goodness, crushing it! Triple H dodged that one. Now oh, the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Oh, continuing to punish them. Close line. Right in the back of the neck. using the knee. Oh boy, he is rolling. You gotta believe this one's over. We see Triple H with some reason for concern. Yikes. We all know, though, this guy has plenty of fight left in him. Yeah, but it looks to me like he still has plenty of energy in that body of his. I wouldn't look too much into this right much. When people see the success of NXT and how it went from a developmental system to a bonafide WWE brand, they need to look at one person who had a vision of what those three letters needed to be. And that is Triple H. Once Triple H became a WWE executive, he completely overhauled the way the WWE developed its... We're going to lock it in here. Some of my most rewarding work has come from spending time at the WWE Performance Center and being around the superstars of NXT. Triple H created an... Lesnar looking to fly. German after German by Brock. It, is that it? Is it over? Batten down the hatch with the F5. Bang! Can he finish the job? Thank you for spending your Monday night with us. After seeing what we have in store, I'm sure you won't be disappointed. There's no quit in these guys, but unfortunately only one of them can be victorious here tonight. Spine Buster! And the cover for the win! This is it! 
He gets the shoulder up before three. Wow. Look at Triple H stalking him. Pedigree! Pedigree! But can he... Looking for all the glory here. Two! No kicks out in time. The Beast won't stay down. If I was Triple H, I'd tone down the showboating a little bit. And he goes for the pin. Two. I can't believe it. He just kicked out. And we continue. Oh. Back breaker. Oh my God! In a spine. That'll make your legs go numb. God in the spine. That'll make your legs go numb. When this guy's on, look out. This might be it. Oh, my. That's what he... He's got him covered. Two. Three. He got the job done. This one's over. No doubt it was a good one. Here's another look. He ain't playing here. He's getting it done here. Yeah, he's putting in the work. Here is your winner, the game. Triple